welcome the agency director of the Texas A&M Transportation Institute, Greg Winfrey. Well, good morning and howdy, everybody. Howdy. Great pleasure to be here with you all. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed colleagues, and curious minds, I'm delighted to welcome each of you, our partners in pioneering the future, to this annual gathering. I stand before you today to offer a realm of possibilities that are reshaping how we move, connect, and experience the world around us. We gather here to explore the groundbreaking research emanating from the Texas A&M Transportation Institute and our fellow university research partners at universities across the state, much of it funded and inspired by the Texas Department of Transportation. It's research that is propelling us into an electrifying and autonomous automated future while transforming how we view transportation. Welcome to the journey of innovation that is shaping tomorrow's mobility landscape. But first, I'd like to share a little bit about my story. So you'll see on the slides behind me, <clears throat> patent information. So I am the holder of two patents, a utility patent and a design patent. Now you all may know me as the TTI agency director and also as a trial lawyer but I'm also an innovator. So the patents that I have were, were ideas that occurred to me early in my career when I was a trial attorney with the U.S. Department of Justice, and I had three matters in four different states in a six-week period. And this is before rolling luggage, for those who are old enough to remember that. <laughs> so I got a garment bag on one shoulder, I got files in another arm, I got a litigation bag, and I'm scurrying through airports. And the thing about the, uh, when you're a lawyer for the government, there aren't a whole lot of tremendous uh, support resources. So you're literally your own little personal law firm. So I'm running through airports for six weeks, you know, and I'm getting all tense and trying to make flights and weather delays and running from state to state. And at the end of that period, I said, you know what, I'm back home. I'm going to take some time and play around the golf with some friends. Well, and, and I saw this at the Galloway tournament, but because I had been under so much stress and strain and pressure and tension, I had a condition in golf known as alligator arms. So I might call it Tyrannosaurus Rex arms, right? So I couldn't relax my shoulders and every ball I hit, I was hitting on the top, I was missing, I couldn't figure out what was going on. And then I said to myself, well, wait a minute, this has something to do with my shoulders. Does anybody have a shirt or something, a garment that would kind of help take the tension out of shoulder-borne weights? And I did some prior art research and found that no, no one had, that idea hadn't occurred to anyone. So I started to work on the patent claims. I worked with a patent lawyer I knew and wound up getting the design patent first and then got the utility patent. So that is the, concept that was behind the eight iron golf apparel uh, line of, of business. Now, unfortunately, my second time around as a Fed occurred during the last seven years of my patent, so I never really had a chance to bring it to market like I wanted, but that's a material. You know, the important thing is I seized upon an opportunity to, to move an innovation forward and wound up getting uh, recognized uh, for the novelty of that idea by the U.S. Patent and Trade Office. Now, I tell you this because I believe that there's an innovator in all of us, and I encourage you to bring your innovative ideas to life. So now I'd like for you to imagine a world where vehicles glide silently down the roads, their conventional engines replaced by clean, efficient electric powertrains and hybrid powertrains, Envision a network of self-driving vehicles that navigate with pinpoint accuracy, offering safety and accessibility to all. Now let me share how TTI is working to help create this generative reality. 
Our journey begins with the electrification of transportation. At Texas A&M, our brilliant minds are channeling their expertise to develop cutting-edge electric vehicle technologies. From advanced battery systems and chemistries that store energy more efficiently to smart charging infrastructure that seamlessly integrates into our daily lives, we're not just reducing emissions, we're revolutionize, revolutionizing how we move about. So one remarkable product born from this research is an energy efficient battery with extended life cycles, promising greater travel range on a single charge. By partnering with industry leaders, we're driving innovation forward and contributing to a cleaner, greener future for all. At a cutting edge research facility nestled within the Texas A&M Relis campus, we're pushing the boundaries of what's possible in environmental and emissions research, mustering the forces of academia, industry, and visionary leadership to expand our horizons. The genesis of this transformation was made possible through the Governor's University Research Initiative, or GURI, a bold initiative developed to attract world-class academic talent to Texas and foster collaboration between academia and industry to drive innovation and economic growth. And today, we proudly showcase the incredible journey undertaken by the TTI Environmental and Emissions Research uh, Facility, or ERF, that's easier to say than what I just stumbled over, in partnership with Texas A&M University's Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering and the Texas A&M Engineering Experiment Station. So what's brewing at the Earth? Let's dive in. First, we've upgraded our original environmental chamber. So if you can imagine a facility that can now sustain temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, thanks to additional cooling capacity, and in addition to be able to sustain over 120 degrees Fahrenheit. But that's not all. We've introduced a new dynamometer that allows us to drive vehicles inside the chamber while maintaining those temperatures. This innovation opens up a world of possibilities for emissions research, vehicle testing, and climate impact studies. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. You know, housed next to our original facility is a brand new state-of-the-art space that will house a power laboratory in a smaller testing chamber, and its primary focus will be on transportation, with a special emphasis on electrified transportation and its impact on the grid. And I would submit that that's tremendously important in a great state like ours, where we struggle to keep the power going when it gets cold. We struggle to keep the power going when it gets hot. What's going to happen when there are 20 million electric vehicles also plugged into the grid, right? We need to know that in advance. So imagine a place where we can test and refine the electric vehicles of tomorrow while ensuring our energy infrastructure keeps pace with the evolving demands of our electrified world. Moreover, we'll be able to fully vet, you know, the concepts of utilizing electrified vehicles as energy storage devices that can augment grid capacity during peak demand times. And there's more to the story. The Guri grant is also making it possible for us to establish a solar field at the Earth location. Now, this solar field isn't just about harnessing renewable energy. It's about unlocking new charging capabilities and paving the way for extensive electric vehicle testing. It's about exploring sustainable energy solutions and integrating them into our transportation systems. So as we electrify, we also set our sights on the realm of autonomy. So picture this, university campuses where autonomous or automated shuttles move gracefully, offering reliable and convenient transportation options for students and staff. Now TTI has taken on the audacious challenge of deploying autonomous vehicles on our own campus and integrating them into legacy transit operations, clearing a pathway for college environments nationwide to follow our lead. Through tireless research, we've developed advanced sensors and algorithms that allow vehicles to perceive and navigate the world around them. These autonomous shuttles operating in real world scenarios demonstrate our commitment to fostering safer, more accessible mobility solutions. It's not just about the technology. 
It's about changing the way we experience transportation, and more importantly, how we experience mobility writ large. Connected transportation represents a major evolution in how vehicles and infrastructure will inter interface in the future, affecting every facet of transportation safety and mobility. Vehicles and the infrastructure will be able to talk to each other and communicate their real-time conditions. The lifespan of this research, many of you know, has been decades in the making as communications and message standards, applications and new data uh, collection techniques and analysis techniques continue to develop, ushering in this transformational technology to the roadways we all drive. TTI is poised to lead the way with our living research test beds located on Norellis campus. These test beds include the Connected Infrastructure Laboratory, a fully equipped virtual collaborative workspace where different disciplines can work together to develop, test, and deploy next generation sensors and data applications for the connected and automated vehicle environment and the overall infrastructure arena. It's a place where we are literally helping to create cars that can think. TTI Smart Intersection advances research and traffic digital control, detection technology, and connected vehicle infrastructure to increase awareness and safety on the roadways. The traffic signal is a fully actuated intersection with signal poles and mast arms with painted pedestrian crosswalks and a bicycle lane. TTI, TxDOT, Econolite, and other vendors contributed to the intersection installation and additional research equipment. But our reach doesn't just stop at the campus gates. We're proud to partner with the Texas Department of Transportation, an agency, as we know, dedicated to enhancing transportation systems statewide and inspiring other states to do the same. TxDOT's innovative research program, a collaboration with the Institute and our research partners at other universities, is transforming the very infrastructure we rely on. TxDOT has launched the Innovative Transportation in Texas program to identify, evaluate, and develop innovative solutions to meet the growing uh, transportation needs in all 25 TxDOT districts across the state. In addition to the main goal of fostering innovation, this program will bring together all districts' innovative projects into one database as a shared resource. The very essence of innovation is the implementation of ideas, devices, or processes that address a problem and create value for TxDOT and its customers. Now next, I want to talk to you about a critical aspect of urban infrastructure and transportation planning that impacts those of us who live in large cities the need for alternative routes to major highways. More specifically, I want to discuss how we can identify and develop those alternative routes to alleviate congestion, improve safety, and stimulate economic growth. Now, I know the picture behind me is familiar to a lot of people in this room. Imagine you're stuck in a traffic jam on a major highway during rush hour, duh, and your GPS app is showing nothing but red lines stretching as far as the eye can see. We've all been there, and it's awful frustrating, isn't it? Even for those of us in the transportation industry, we're not, we're not immune to it. But what if I told you there's a way to ease this pain, not by adding more lanes to the existing highway, or by diverting traffic through circuitous routes through neighborhood streets that weren't designed to handle such throughput, but by strategically identifying and developing alternative corridors that can divert some of this traffic. This is where the concept of a project that TTI and TxDOT are partners on. That's where this comes into play. In this project, we're tasked with identifying two corridors, one of which is US 281, that could serve as alternative routes to major highways in our large urban areas. But it's not just about throwing a new road on the map. When I was at USDOT, we used to say, we can't build our way out of the problem. And I know that's a mantra at TxDOT as well, because we know if we build it, they will come. So it's about creating a comprehensive framework to determine if these alternate corridors 
are viable options, understanding the potential impacts on congestion, safety, and the economy, and identifying the necessary short-term and long-term improvements to make these alternatives work. At the end of the day, the development of alternative routes to major highways is not just about building more roads. It's about thoughtful planning, data analysis, and a commitment to improving the lives of urban residents. The framework created by this project is a vital tool in our quest for better transportation solutions. By investing in alternative routes, we can reduce the frustrations of the daily commuter, enhance safety, which as we just heard is extraordinarily important, and stimulate economic growth in our cities. It's a step toward a future where traffic jams become a rarity rather than a daily occurrence, and where urban transportation is more efficient, sustainable, and equitable. Now I want to shift gears, pardon the pun. I'm deeply honored to share a remarkable story that blends the worlds of academia, space exploration, and partnership. Now this story begins with a historic launch, a special invitation, and a groundbreaking collaboration between Texas A&M and NASA. So it was August 26 when the world watched in awe as Crew 7, a team of astronauts, soared into the cosmos from the Kennedy Space Center. I've been to many uh, rocket launches, principally for uh, GPS satellites, but it's a completely different experience when humans are on board. So it was a sight to behold, a testament to human ingenuity and a reminder of our limitless potential. The launch was historic in its own right, but it held even greater significance for us at Texas A&M. You see, I had the privilege, as I mentioned, of attending this remarkable launch, not just as an observer, but as a representative of Texas A&M and as a NASA special government employee in my role as a member of the Presidential Space Base Positioning, Navigation, and Timing Advisory Board. Now, you only get a title that long when it's something governmental, right? <laughs> but this special invitation came from none other than the director of the Johnson Space Center, Vanessa Weich. Now, as an aside, I've known Vanessa for well over 30 years. She married my law school classmate, and I was the best man in their wedding, right? So you never know where relationships go as you move through your career, but now I'm on her speed dial. Right? So it's extraordinarily impactful for me and a great benefit that I hope I bring here to Texas. But Vanessa believed that it was crucial for Texas A&M to be part of the Crew 7 launch, and I couldn't have agreed more. Vanessa's invitation was more than just a gesture. It was a symbol of a partnership forged in the stars. It was a recognition of the groundbreaking collaboration that had been in the works for years a partnership between Texas A&M and NASA through the recently announced Texas A&M Space Institute. The Texas A&M Space Institute, a beacon of innovation and discovery, has been working hand in hand with NASA on projects that will define our future in space. From cutting edge research in propulsion systems to groundbreaking advances in space medicine, our university has become a vital player in the grandest adventure ever undertaken by humanity. And jealously, from a TTI perspective, our position is, hey, if you're driving on Mars, that's still transportation. You, let's make sure we get it right and don't repeat the mistakes we've made on this planet. <laughs> but what makes this partnership truly exceptional is that it's not just about scientists and engineers and labs. It's also about our students the next generation of space explorers, and some might unfairly say space cadets, but you didn't hear that from me. They're working side by side with NASA experts, gaining unparalleled hands-on experience and contributing to the very missions that inspire millions around the globe. So my friends, our trusted and valued partners in innovation for nearly a century, let us remember this day as a testament to what can be achieved when we dare to reach for the stars. As we continue this incredible journey, let us embrace collaboration, cherish innovation, 
and inspire the generations that follow. Together, we can make history, unlock the mysteries of the cosmos, and light the way for a future that knows no bounds. Now I'd like to share with you a video of the rocket launch that I managed to capture on my cell phone when we were at the Kennedy Space Center. So I had asked our production team to crank the volume up as much as we could without blowing the speakers, right? <laughs> many of y'all are engineers, but all of y'all are professionals, and, and many of us remember from high school science that light travels faster than sound. So the viewing platform we were on was three miles away from the launch range. So that's why you saw the incredible brightness of the nine Falcon rocket engines igniting, and it took a while for the sound to catch up to the visuals. But the reason I wanted the sound as loud as we could get it, because it wasn't just sound, it was a tremendous sensory overload where you felt the power of those rockets resonating through your body. I mean, it was almost as if we were resonating devices that were part of the mission. It was just so captivating and so engaging. If you have an opportunity to witness a rocket launch, I strongly recommend it. I mean, it's, it's jaw-dropping. But as I conclude, I invite you to embark on this journey with us. The Texas A&M Transportation Institute is a beacon of innovation where minds converge to unlock the mysteries of electrification, autonomy, and infrastructure transformation. Our efforts transcend the bounds of research. They hold the power to shape societies, economies, and the very fabric of our lives. So let us move forward with a renewed sense of purpose, a purpose that drives us to envision a future where transportation is not just a means of getting from point A to point B, but a catalyst for progress and connection. Together, let's pioneer the future of transportation and embrace the transformative power of innovation. Thank you so much. <laughs>